Broadcasting from the Jaguar studio in the heart of Blue Springs South High School. This is award-winning JAG TV. Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of JAG TV. I'm Blake Isaacson. And I'm Kirsten Gochi. It's an annual event that raises food for the needy, right in our own neighborhood. And food is collected right here at our own high school. Carly Ballas has the story. Last week was Community Unity Week and it went great. We collected 5,350 items. That's 1,200 items more than last year. Community Unity Week went really good this year. We uh, beat our goal last year and we had over 5,000 items. We also had participation from almost every classroom. During the Miracle Minute at the football game, Senate raised $2,500. This week kind of really united us as a community. Good job, Jags, for all your hard work. With this Community Unity Week, a lot of families will be helped. I'm Carly Baldus for JAG TV. Back to you. Thanks, Carly. The Blue Springs versus Blue Springs South Pink Out Volleyball game was a success. We raised approximately $10,000 for the Stephanie Vest Foundation. Way to go, Jags. Van has been marching on a roll with two wins here. Here's Austin with the story. The award for outstanding field guard of the day. The award for outstanding percussion section of the day goes to the percussion section from Blue Spring South. Blue Spring South. Blue Spring South. Blue Spring South. The Jaguar Pride is preparing for their biggest challenge yet, the St. Louis Bands of America Super Regional. So last week, they continued to fine-tune their performance by competing at Park Hill. Uh, to finish Grand Champions and then know that we probably could have and should have been a little bit better, and that's what we're going to keep working on. we got a couple weeks left in our season, and uh, we're going to dig in. Um, I, we're really, really proud of these guys. They're, 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 they're doing wonderful things. They represent the school so well and the faculty and the staff. Uh, uh, something to be very, very proud of here. Congratulations go out to Ashley Chambers who received the award for Best Woodwind Solo. Well, it feels great and um, I've never gotten a any type of marching band award before um, as an individual. I mean, obviously we have tons, but um, I mean, it just fuels what I want to do in my life and it makes me really happy and I'm very excited. <laughs> Great job, Jaguar Pride, getting grand champion two weeks in a row. I'm Austin Githy with Jack TV. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Austin. The choir has been singing up a storm. Here's Andrew with the news. Choir has hit the ground running, practicing for their upcoming concert. Um, I'm Izzy Los, and I am choir president this year, and I sing alto. Um, we've been working super hard this year. We kind of hit the ground running. Chamber Choir has already had a performance last Sunday at UMKC at Cantata, and it was amazing. Our first choir has also been a great experience for kids involved. My name is Luke Eaton. I'm just a normal guy, um, and what I like most about choir is it gives um, everyone the opportunity to work together and uh, set aside your own individual ego and um, all that. As you can see, choir is doing really well. If you would like to experience their sound, be at the PAC on Tuesday, 7 p.m. For JAG TV, I'm Andrew Berg. Thanks, Andrew. Coming up next, we have a competition for you. Well, not really for you, but your pets. That and more when Jag TV returns.
Hey Jags, Matt Mitchell down at Culver's. How's it going? Welcome back to school. Hey, it's Culver's and it's spirit wear time, right? It's football season. Of course, you know that you're the state champs. So on Friday nights from five o'clock to close, come into your favorite Culver's restaurant, wear your hats that say Jags, wear your shirts that say Jags. We're gonna give you 10% off your entire purchase. Try our signature Culver's Bacon Deluxe Butter Burger. So again, spirit wear nights are Friday nights from five o'clock to close. There will always be reasons to celebrate, so why not celebrate with your own custom designed shirt? Big Frog is the perfect place. Design that shirt yourself with the help of in-store professionals with no minimum orders, no setup and artwork fees, and only a 24-hour turnaround. Think about it, your own shirts for your own group of friends, team wear, parties, clubs, fundraisers, school spirit, or even for your own local business. So come on in, let Big Frog help you design your own custom shirt located just off I-70 Blue River Road next to Jimmy John's at Independence. Website is bigfrog.com slash independence. Big Frog, where fun is always celebrated. When I said I wanted to fly solo across the Atlantic, people said I was crazy. Just like when I said I wanted chicken for breakfast, people said I was crazy again. So then I flew solo across the Atlantic. And then I went to Chick-fil-A and got the new egg white grill. And now I'm flying a victory lap. You know how many likes I'm gonna get on this one? So many likes. Chicken for breakfast. It's not as crazy as you'd think. Try the new egg white grill from Chick-fil-A. Welcome back. Do you own a pet? If you do, here's Natalie with a fun competition. Halloween is right around the corner and things can get a little spooky. So to lighten up the mood, Jag TV is hosting a little competition. As you may know, Jag TV is becoming a big presence on social media. So we're using Twitter to get you, our viewers, involved in the broadcast. We want you to send in pictures of your dogs, cats, bunnies, hamsters, or any other pets you may have in a Halloween costume through Twitter. We will show off the top 15 pets, and the winner will receive a $25 Quick Trip gift card. The competition begins October 11th and will last until October 21st. The competition is open to everyone in Blue Springs and the surrounding cities. Good luck, and start sending in pictures now. Thanks, Natalie. Now here's Isaiah with reminders. Thanks, Kirsten. Hello, my name is Isaiah Jackson, and I have this week's announcements. Tonight, there is a choir concert in the PAC at 7 p.m., so make sure that you go out and support your Jaguars. Seniors, it's about that time. Senior panoramic pictures will be Wednesday during Jag Win. So make sure that you're here so that you don't miss out on that opportunity. Also, there's a senior meeting announcement right after that. Also, don't forget that if you signed up for the ACT test, it is this Saturday from 8 to noon. Make sure you bring your pencils and your test taking skills and rock the test. Also, we're out of school on the 27th and 28th. So take that time to do something productive or like most of us will be doing, sleep. That's all for your reminders. Sarnara Jags, this is Isaiah Jackson with Jag TV. Now back to you. Thanks, Isaiah. Now with some news outside of South High School, here's Jada. Across the city, our very own former Blue Springs South star is college football's top tackler. Connor Harris, linebacker for Lindenwood, says he'd gladly swap some of his individual numbers for more team success. Additionally, Blue Springs High School grad Jason High fought in an MMA event at Municipal Auditorium as a part of the World Series of Fighting 33. It's amazing to see such great success in our city. Across the state, questions arise over proposed Kansas City Arts Festival funding. Mayor James plans to highlight Kansas City's visual, musical, dance, tech, and other arts accomplishments. Sounds like a great way to lift the national profile of KC. Also, an arrested Kansas City librarian gets support from the country's largest national library association. The American Library claims the arrests and charges violated the First Amendment and praises the Kansas City for supporting free speech. Across the nation, NASA is setting a bunch of fires in space on purpose in order to help scientists learn more about how flames behave in microgravity environments. This experiment could help better inform security on future missions also, superheroes honor six-year-old shooting victim at a touching funeral. Jacob Hall, who died after a teen gunman opened fire at South Carolina Elementary School, was remembered as a superhero. His family encouraged people to dress as superheroes to honor his legacy. Data, that was a super way to show legacy. Coming up next, we have a crucial announcement you won't want to miss.
podcasts are the best place to get fit and stay healthy. Club 7 Fitness in Blue Springs is a state-of-the-art facility with nearly 50,000 square feet for your might, mind, and strength. Free weight room, free motion equipment, and cardio equipment. More than 40 award-winning classes to choose from. Personal training to help you stay on track. Extensive group X-class schedule. Hot tub, dry sauna, steam room, racquetball courts, and indoor track. There's even yoga, spin classes, and a boxing studio. Not only is Club 7 affordable, but get this, they offer students and teacher discounts. The ultimate fitness experience awaits you, so go by and check them out today. Club 7 Fitness is located on the south side of Blue Springs, right behind Culver's. Find out more on their website, club7fitness.com. Nationally known barbecue and is located right here in our own backyard, Plowboys in Blue Springs. Plowboys is not only the best barbecue in Kansas City area, but was voted by USA Today in having the best burnt-in sandwich in the country. They are locally owned and operated. They are always looking for local great help with their restaurant. So if you're 16 and older and you need that great job, whether it be full-time or part-time, this is a great place to work. Apply today at Plowboys. Go to their website, download the application, plowboysbbq.com. And if you're in the mood for the best tasting barbecue around for lunch or dinner, then come on by to Plowboys, located Southside 7 near CVS in Blue Springs. Welcome to Jack to B Sports. I'm Donald Kelly. The Jags football team lost to Blue Springs 31 to 17. The Jags were right into the game just about till eight minutes where the ball was on the third yard line and the Jags threw an interception to number 24, Jackson Blau. Stepped at the goal line. To the 50, it's a foot race and this one is gonna be returned all the way. This was a game changer, but the Jags weren't out of it. But then the next play, next possession, they threw another interception to number nine, Stephen Vincent. Contact and throws another interception. Benson steps in front of the receiver and he goes in for the touchdown. We played decent overall. We could have did a lot better. Uh, we had a lot of mistakes that killed us on the drives, like two interceptions. That's a, that was a big difference. Uh, I think if those wouldn't have happened, uh, it would have been a close game. Even if we lost, uh, we probably would have lost by a little bit. I'm pretty sure we could have won. The boys' football team wasn't the only team that played Blue Springs last week. The boys' soccer team played Blue Springs and won 4-0. Bryce Milliken had a great game with two goals and one assist. Here's him on the overall performance. Beat them 4-0. It was a great team effort. And everyone just played better, focused on the process for the whole season, and everyone was just... Girls Volleyball is getting ready to wrap up an amazing regular season and start postseason play. They have a record of 26-3-1. Winning in straight sets, 25 to 11 and 25 to 14. Tonight is the girls' senior night versus Ray Peck, so make sure you come out and support. Support. That's all for Jack TV Sports. I'm Donald Kelly. Back to you. Thanks, Donald. It's the month of October. You know what that means? Jack TV has a special announcement. Where am I? Ghost? I'm a vampire, baby. 